fighthype.com here, one of the greatest fighters in boxing history, my man Roy Jones Jr. Had a million fans here today. Roy, did you enjoy yourself? I always enjoy myself when I'm with the fans. The fans who I box for, the fans who I try to do everything for, the fans who we started Pro Box TV for. So I love everything I do for the fans. Now, you know the fans are excited because November 19th, apparently it's, a, it's official. Finally got it, and the fans deserve that. I'm so glad to see it happening. I love both guys. I think it'll be an extraordinary fight. Like, and people took me wrong when I said I thought Bud in the beginning, but I commentated Bud a lot more than I have Lee Spence. So of course I knew Bud better. So who would you go with if you know him better? Bud, in my opinion, from what I see, he has everything. Spence is a pressure fighter, and I know it, it's down the line, he's gonna be good too, as far as the fight goes. The longer the fight goes, the better goes Spence fight. So if I give an opinion, that don't mean I don't like somebody. That was just my opinion. I think it'll be a great fight. I like Bud early, but to get late in the fight, and Spence is still there. There's a real problem because that's his thing. He's a pressure fighter. He's a second half fighter. So if he's in the second half, that's his time. So who knows what happened, but that's why they fight. They're both undefeated. Nobody deserves to say nobody better than nobody until somebody beats somebody. So it's a great 50-50 fight. I'm glad it's happening. And I'm glad for the fans more so because we all want to see it, including me. And, and you know, uh, just because uh, you said that, you expect Spence to come on late. Crawford's a slow starter, though. Yeah, but, watch yeah, yeah but what I'm saying is, he's a slow starter, but he got quick hands. Julie, he waits. Because he can see what you got first. Then he starts. And that might help him too because now he may wait to see what Spence got. He won't find what Spence got too late. So he got to learn how to use his jab and pick up those early rounds. Because when Spence gets started, it's going to be too late to pick him out. He's going to be all over the you know. So we'll see what happens. And I got to ask about this Jake Paul stuff. Would you train any of these guys if they came to you? These, these of course years? I would. I, I, I love sharing my boxing with anybody. If somebody's serious about boxing like Jake Paul is, of course I'd try to help him out. Do you think he'll beat Anderson Silva? I ain't say that. No, I just say I'd help him out. <laughs> do you, do you, how do you think of that fight though, Roy? It's going to be a good fight, and it's going to be how much Jake has learned as opposed to how much Anderson knows. But Anderson is a good defensive fighter. Jake is a good boxer who's getting better by the day. We know enough to, to figure out enough to trick Anderson or set Anderson up, or will Anderson be too elusive for him? That's the question. And lastly, Roy, uh, just, uh, your, just your thoughts on all that, period. Floyd's fighting this guy, Deji, and what's your thought on it as hey, it pertains to boxing? Hey, get money, you heard me? Get money, get money. That's all I got to say.